You take it away with Pizza Tower. All right. All right, all right. Woo, woo. It does not feel real that I'm up here. But hi, everybody. My name's Soaring Sloth, and welcome to Pizza Tower Any Percent. Um, right behind me, I have Ellie Jelly, Shay, and Wooful D, and uh, we're here to show you such a great game today. This game is absurdly fast-paced. I honestly was worried that uh, it might be hard to follow for everybody here, but I think everybody knows that. <laughs> so uh, I think we're about ready. I think we're about ready. Are we ready to cook? Oh, <laughs> I can't speak. Are we ready to cook? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, all right. Count it from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go! Can't believe we have the Pepino Pizza Tower playing Pizza Tower right now. Holy That's cow. crazy. It's wild. It's wild. I don't know how we got here, but uh, we have a we have a giant tower to scale. So uh, I guess it's a, a perfect time to explain how Pepino's movement works, which uh, he kind of operates like a car. <laughs> he has uh, four modes of speed that would uh, you really won't see too much of uh, the first two, but uh, the the second two, Mach three and Mach four, are basically the modes of speed we're going to be using a lot of. Uh, we uh, we use this uh, crouch dive to obviously get ourselves up to Mach 3, which uh, really gets us revving up. And uh, Mach 4 is basically the maximum amount of speed we can hold at one given moment. And uh, right. it really shows uh, when you're at least in big horizontal rooms like this. And uh, So if you've never heard of a pizza and or a tower, uh, this is Wario Land 5. If you've ever played Wario Land 4, you'll be right at home. Yeah, this is basically Wario Land 5. It, and it also has the sickest movement of any game ever, honestly. This game's movement is absolutely phenomenal. You can do so many things. Uh, like Sloth mentioned, there's different speeds you can go at. Mach 1, you're never going to see it in the speed run, but 3 and 4 are what you're going to be at. And when you're in 3 and 4, you can do all sorts of things. Like you can run up walls, you can do super jumps, and uh, you can do super tackles. And that is the bread and butter of the movement. Anyway, uh, he just ran into what's called a John block. And when you run into John, uh, you have to get back to the very beginning of the level, uh, just like Wario Land 4. Uh, I'm going to say that a lot, I have a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> you might, you might. Hey, guys, have you ever played Wario Land 4 before? Have you? Have you? You should. It's a great game. Yeah. Anyway, we're heading into the first uh, big stage here, John Gutter. Um, every stage is basically going to follow like a, a simple uh, start to finish with uh, grabbing five toppings and uh, basically breaking the big John block and running back to the start. Um, there is a bit of an economy with this game. Um, we actually do, we can only skip nine toppings total throughout the entire run. And, uh, you know, we need to, we need that money to basically unlock all the boss doors, which, uh, at least for floor one, we only need $100. And, uh, it basically goes up, uh, to 150 and floor two, 200 and floor three. And, uh, I skipped that, but, uh, we can get that, <laughs> we can get that on the way back, but, uh. Yeah, 200 and 4-3, 210 and 4-4, four, four, and I believe another 210 and 4-5. Yep. Anyway, we're running back now. Uh, we're going to go pick up that one topping we missed. Uh, it's pizza time. It's pizza time. It's pizza time. It's Correct. pizza time. It's time there to cook. Go. Ooh, banana peel. My bad. Owie. So the various, the five main toppings that you can collect. Uh, let's see. You got all of the essentials for a pizza. Pepperoni, sausage, cheese, tomato, and uh, pineapple, of course. Yeah, of course, pineapple. I'm sure that last one isn't controversial at all. Yeah, not, no, no not, not at all. Not controversial whatsoever. Right. We love pineapple in this stream. You should, uh, you know, if you really are, are mad that pineapple's on pizza, you should uh, donate money and tell us how mad you are that pineapple's on pizza. You should, you That's should. True. It's a great idea. Yeah. Complain yeah. to us. It is yes. the best way to support this. I, I actually have a relevant donation if I can read it really quickly. Sure, yeah, go ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. Well, we have twenty dollars from Small Man that says, "Yo, GDQ, it's pizza time." It's How about pizza we start time. a donation train where everyone lists their favorite toppings? Me, I like salami, sun-dried tomatoes, and anchovies. Oh gosh. I understand that might be a controversial opinion, so fight me with your money. I will. That, I, I, yeah, I, I might. I might. I don't anchovies. know how to feel about that. Anchovies is pretty daring. <laughs> I am a yeah. cheese enthusiast. Yeah. Cheese so, and pepperoni are pretty good. In this game, you have a taunt button, which when I was playing casually, I thought it was useless and just a little funny dance move. Uh, it's your parry button. Yeah. Fun yeah. fact. Uh, you know, we don't use parries all that often in this run, but it's very essential for some of the boss fights coming up. Uh, we really need them to basically uh, 
handle some cycles on some bosses, but uh, here it's just helpful for uh, dealing with the Fork Knights, because uh, they have some weird hitboxes, and, uh, you know, sometimes it's just better to parry them than, uh, you know, run around them. Fork Knight. <laughs> no, fork Knight. <laughs> Amazing. Like fork Knight. Some say there's a battle pass for this game, but... Oh, no. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, it looks like a battle pass. Run, run down here. We need to pick up this key to unlock a door in uh, the room uh, to the left over here. And uh, one thing I haven't talked about yet is uh, the many transformations that lie in Pizza Tower. And uh, surprisingly enough, in the speed run, if we can skip them, we will skip them because a lot of them are fairly slow. Uh, unfortunately, we have to use the night suit in uh, this level for most of the rooms, but uh, there's one exception coming up. Yeah, there are these big rats, and the rats, you'll see them throughout the whole game, can only really usually be destroyed with uh, either a transformation or something from the stage. So you have to work around that a lot. A little bit of sequence breaking there in order to uh, not have to keep the transformation and get out of it as soon as possible. And it's pizza time again. Pizza time. It's pizza time. Pizza. Speaking of pizza time, this song is so good. Yes. Yeah. There's so many bangers in the Pizza Tower OST. I love it so much. Yeah. It is a really good soundtrack. I'm sure you've also noticed the combo meter in the top right, which is refreshed when you... Uh, when you, when, whenever you beat up an enemy, it goes up and resets. And when you pick up like those little uh, mini toppings or the clocks that appear after you hit a John block, uh, it keeps the combo going. And this is mostly for the ranking system in the game. But if you have a high combo, you can do a super taunt, which is a screen nuke, uh, super useful in a couple of situations. Yeah, it's a, a really good tool for getting out of like a couple tight spots in the run. Um, and I actually have yet to talk about this trick, but I, I'm sure everybody in uh, the, the back over here has probably been wondering what I've been doing at the end of the stages. Um, basically, there is a window, a small window, where uh, if you uh, get in front of the, the big door at the end of the escape and uh, exit level, you can hold up and uh, basically skip the entire result screen, which uh, saves around, uh, I would say, 19 seconds per level, which uh, is overall six minutes in the full game run. Anyway, first boss here, Pepperman. The yeah. Pep. Pepperman uh, is a... Uh, a very notorious fight for uh, at least early in the run. It's very easy to mess up cycles. Uh, and uh, the boss fights are the only uh, part of the run where there's uh, an element of RNG. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can do an uppercut too. Yeah. Just another thing you can do. It actually extends your jump a little bit, so it can actually be useful in movement as well as just in fights. Anyway, most bosses have a, a set attack uh, during certain parts of the fight, but uh, they also have a second phase each. Um, and for Pepperman, uh, he basically speeds up a lot, and a lot of projectiles uh, start coming uh, your way. So uh, we really have to be careful with uh, how we lay ourselves out. And uh, it's very oh 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 my bad. Ooh. I'm just saying when I first fought this fight, you should you should you should have seen the look on my face when I just barely made it to the first phase, only to immediately get greeted by a second phase. No, yeah. And every single boss in the game does that. Yep. Yes. A lot of people struggle with this fight casually, and I am one of them. Same here. I love the portrait in the back. Yeah. <laughs> what a beautiful portrait. Oh, no, no. There we go. Absolutely. He gets so obsessed looking at his own self-portrait that he gets distracted. You can hit him. Anyway, that's Pepperman. He cooked. He cooked. Good job, Chef. Good job, Chef. All right, Big Key will let you access the next floor of the tower. Time for a quick donation? Of sure course, thing. of course. Well, uh, on the topic note, we have $50 from Pitman Lionhouse that says, Pizza Tower sounds delicious. We'll take ours with pepperoni, feta, and extra cheese, please. Smile. And that being said, with that donation, we are just about $48,000 away from hitting Titanfall 2. Keep it going, chat. I got to say, I have a friend uh, on the Discord that's uh, really hoping for Titanfall 2, so you guys got to get it in, just for my boy Biggie. If you think this game has sick movement for a 2D platformer, Titanfall is basically the exact same thing for a 3D game. That game has the coolest movement I've ever seen. Absolutely insane. So you notice uh, we just passed the topping there. That's because we'll get it on the way back. Yeah, it's much faster to grab that topping on the way back. Um, here we have these bombs that we use to destroy the, the comically large rats, and uh, they have uh, pretty unforgiving hitboxes if uh, you actually get caught in their exploding radius. There's a, a couple enemies in this game that uh, have really long uh, lasting hitboxes, and it's very easy to get hit by them, so we have to be mindful of that. 
as oh. anybody who's ever tried to P rank this game will tell you. Can confirm I've gotten all the P ranks. Oh. oh. It is a nightmare. Yeah, P ranking every single stage in this game is definitely a task that not a lot of people can do. So, you know, I commend anybody that's uh, done the task. Anyway, it's pizza time. It's, it's pizza, pizza time. time. It's pizza time. Wow. So Ancient Cheese, which is the name of this level, is kind of the introduction to rather than just going through the exact level you played, uh, after you hit the John block, you actually have to go through a, a new segment of the level. Yeah, there's a, a couple stages in this game where instead of actually going back the, the route you came, there's just going to be an entirely different route you have to go. And uh, sometimes uh, old rooms will overlap like right now, but uh, we just hooked back up with the old route. They cooked with this song. Yeah, this, this song is so good. I love it so much. Oh. Oh. Sometimes uh, the breakable blocks like that will do that, and it's pretty funny. But uh, one more RSS, and we're nice. out. We're going to be running into the one of the most infamous uh, stages in the run, so I'm going to keep quiet and uh, leave it to the couch over here. All right. This is Blood Sauce Dungeon. Uh, if any of you have ever tried to P-rank this game, you know what's coming. You're like, oh, I'll do all the levels in order, you know? It, it, it'll start easy and get harder. Uh. Oh. <laughs> then this level shows up, and you're just like, oh. Yeah, so oh. Like, so those grabs those you're doing, they're very, like, particular. You gotta make sure not to grab enemies. Gotta make sure not to grab a wall, or else you just climb back up. It's it's a doozy. And, you know, it's got lava. Actually, it's really hot sauce, but don't tell anybody I told you that. And also, saw blades. Yeah. Actually, they're pizza cutters. You got time for a donation? Excellent. Well, we have lots of donations coming in. Thank you so much, Chad. Why don't we start off with a community donation that says, Hey, Sloth, have a good run. Rooting for you. And that's $25 from Seb. Ooh, thank you. We also have $20 from Ashley Ashmichda that says... Ashmichda. Ashmichda, thank you. It says, hi, checks notes. Slithering Sleuth? <laughs> I know absolutely nothing about Pizza Tower, but I'm very happy to see all of the chapters, all bosses, legend, and making <laughs> Italian man go fast. Love yeah. you, six sore heart. Thank you so much, Ashley. And with that, we are continuing to close the distance for Titanfall 2. Chat, we're so close. Just $37,500 away. Keep them coming, chat. Every little bit helps. Do it. Do it. Cook, chat. You need to cook or else we're not going to get to see cool movement. You do. You do. Anyway, that was the hardest part of Blood Sauce Dungeon. Uh, it's a very uh, vertical stage. In the, the it's pizza time. It's, it's pizza time. time. The, des the descent is uh, a lot harder than uh, coming back up just because uh, we don't really have to worry about a lot of uh, enemies and uh, a lot of grab cancels that we have to do. So, Which, by the way, uh, instead of uh, usually turning around like that, usually we prefer to grab cancel because uh, it's a lot faster and uh, usually we can get up to Mach 3 uh, a lot quicker that way. Yeah, you don't have to do the, uh, the long turnaround animation because when Pepino is at full speed, he's... Basically like a car. It doesn't turn around very well. Yeah. You need you need to stop fully and uh, complete a complete 180. That's what a safe driver would do. Exactly. Anyway, there's a lot of shortcuts on the way back up here, and that one opens up there with the, the John blocks, which are those little blocks you've noticed. They, uh, they'll they change when you hit the, John uh, the big John block. The little John blocks will either become transparent or will become solid. Final topping over here. Gonna get a slight damage boost up here. Went from the drums to the bass there, huh? <laughs> Ooh. Dual instrument player. Nice. And that is the entirety of floor one. I love this elevator transition. <laughs> it, it's it's a nice detail, you know. <laughs> Pretty sketchy elevator. Yeah, just all the animation. Howdy, yeah. you just walked into floor two. I love all the art in Welcome to the so Oregano good. Desert. <laughs> anyway, Oregano Desert is uh, definitely a bit more of an annoying stage for starting off on floor two. There's a, uh, well, there's that. And uh, we also have these clouds right over here. Um, they run on cycles, and they're very easy to get hit by. But uh, thankfully, the toppings are... Uh, 
Oh, conveniently late in these pizza marts. Um, we don't really have to worry. We don't have to worry about uh, actively searching for them. So, big fan of the the giant, <laughs> the Wild West sunset in the background, but it's just a giant pizza. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, you look at the backgrounds a little bit more, and uh, more often than not, you will just see pizza back there. Yeah, I don't know what they were putting in those pizzas to see some of these backgrounds, but uh, <laughs> there's something in there. Anyway, we got a another transformation over here. Uh, we have uh, spicy wings. Uh, we're just able to kind of go uh, willy-nilly over here. Um, it's one of the few transformations that's actually like uh, pretty fast to use, so uh, we don't really bother with uh, trying to ditch it at all, with uh, one real exception, but that's only for the last Pizza Mart, I believe. Uh, coming up here, you have a trick called Hot Wing Skip. We're going to grab the Kennedy on. We time to jump right. There we go. Nice. That saves around 20 seconds. I like the taunt there to pause everything because it doesn't actually pause the, the clouds. So yeah. you can sneak by there without having to lose your speed. Yeah, more often than not, if we can actually, like, when we taunt, obviously, uh, we can actually conserve our speed. So if we need to wait for a cycle while we're like going comp like at Mach 4, uh, it's actually more ideal just to uh, taunt and just uh, stall for time and then just run. So, right. Now we're going to be heading into a UFO because uh, we obviously need a space theme. Uh, and yeah, the, the photorealistic cows just kick you. <laughs> yeah, these, these cows are, they're, they're comically evil. I, I do not like them. <laughs> and they're placed in such specific yeah. spots. Shout out to anyone who's gotten the alien cow achievement in this level. It is annoying. And they've even invaded the pizza marts. Yeah, why invade the pizza marts? I, I'm just a huge fan of how they just have no variance in their facial expressions. They all yeah. just look the exact same. Pizza time! Pizza, pizza time. time! And if you are wondering, the uh, the meme pizza time song is actually in this game. It's the tutorial level theme. It is there. Anyway, I'm going to be falling down over here. Whee! Whee! Whoosh. Time for a quick update. Of yep. course. Well, we are just almost to 79,000 out of that required 125,000. But with the recent donations, we have crossed a donation total of over 800,000 raised for MSF. Thank you so much for all those donations. Keep on cooking, baby. Keep on cooking. And that being said, if you send in a donation, make sure you put it towards that Titanfall 2 incentive. We have just over one hour in order to make that happen. Let's go, Twitch chat. I believe. I believe. You guys can cook enough for this. And if you don't, I'll hunt you down. That's a, that's a joke. <laughs> I would never do that. Surely. Surely. Yeah, oh, I would, uh, would yeah, never. Yeah. Anyway, we're heading to Waste Yard here. Waste Yard, which doesn't really have too much to talk about. Like, not, not any, like, big speedrun tricks. It does have really good music, though. This whole game soundtrack is sick, but Waste Yard in particular is like, that's the good stuff. Yeah, it's a shame we don't get to hear the second half of the track because uh, we're actually blazing through the stage so quickly, but uh, it, is, it is a personal favorite of mine. Booga booga. Spooky ghost. Can't, can't believe a people ah. died, wow. Some people say it's actually just a, a white tablecloth, but uh, I'm not one of those people. The non-believers. The mental gymnastics to not believe that Pepino is just dead. It's like Santa Claus denies. Exactly, or exactly. Ooh, 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 goes. Santa Claus. And now the the de transformation person being a priest suddenly makes sense, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. The resurrection spells. Yeah, I, di I didn't really understand how a, a priest was going to calm down hot wings, but I don't know. I guess they have magic powers. I guess so. Oh. And I think that's what the holy water's for. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I knew it. Anyway, we're coming up uh, across the, the big john over here. Big man. Say it with me, chat. It's pizza time. It's pizza, pizza time! time. Ooh, spooky go. Actually, move really fast as the ghost. You got a haul. Yeah. And anyway, we have a bit of time over here, so uh, if you want to read a couple more donations, uh, you're welcome to. Oh, yeah, and there's so much love coming in for pizza time. Like, starting off with this community donation from the Braz Man with $100 that says, Soar high, big man sloth. 
from boot court to benny cord to everyone watching now we're all rooting for you shout out to gdq and doctors without borders thank you brazman to interrupt for just a moment uh in this level is also this gigantic the 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 john block turns into an angry ghost and chases you yeah it's the only level where he actually does this and uh it's the only time yeah it's the only time he actually is a, a hazard to us yeah he's, <laughs> he's you really like mad at the beginning you're just having a bad room. day look how angry he is you know I, I don't know i don't know what i did i just simply uh, hit him uh, one too many times <laughs> surely he going surely he won't get me we have time for another donation all right, fantastic. Well, we have a lot of toppings coming in, but that being said, all these donations are coming in. We have now crossed $80,000, so we're just $45,000 away. Let's go, chat. Cook, cook. $100 from Capitan that says, pineapple and ham is fine, but try kimchi and bacon. Ooh. You're all welcome. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let him cook. Yeah, let him cook. Let him cook. I like this. I'm liking that. <laughs> We also have $25 from Nutmeg that says, Gotta say mushrooms and olives on my pizza pies. Good luck to you, Sloth, on this awesome run. Fun farm. More the chicken! Let's more more, more the chicken. chicken! More! More! Anyway, this is uh, obviously a popular stage in Pizza Tower. Uh, I really don't know how uh, McPig managed to get a crossover with Mort the Chicken, but uh, it clearly happened and people love it, including myself. So. Well, it's simple. He asked. Yeah, yeah, he asked. Simply just asked. He Literally grew. what happened. Um, that being said, though, this stage does have a bit of a weird layout overall, and uh, I am not a big fan of these ladders. They can be a bit misleading, so... Ooh. Ooh, they might need ladders when you can just super jump. It's true. Whee! Anyway, Mort the Chicken grants us a double jump, and we can obviously attack and grab these hooks, but uh, the Mort hook. Just like many other transformations, if we can skip him, we will. So, uh... Mort the so Chicken bad. also gives you a gigantic attack hitbox that puts the poor Chrysogrim to shame. That, that, it's huge. Just gigantic. Oop. Oop. It is very easy to look bad at this game, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you can bump, like, a... Uh, three times in a row and like every single pizza tower speedrunner will sympathize with you it's a uh, kind of a common joke among everybody among come on come on come on wait wait hold on hold on uh sloth and friends it seems like we're having a topping war here in the donations are you interested i'm interested go for it all right well there's a 50 dollar anonymous donation that says anyone who picks anchovies over pineapple is wrong followed by 50 dollars from empire ship that says you've subscribed to chef Bax. Sources say that BT actually stands for Biza Tower. Stay hydrated with your finest olive oil out there, chefs. And $20 from Princess Nico Cakes that says, Pineapple pizza is a sin. My favorite pizza is mashed potato, bacon, and cheese. <laughs> what? <laughs> mashed potatoes? That, that's, huh? that's wild. That's, that's wild. wild. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let them cook. Anyway, this is uh, one of the rooms where we actually skip Mort the Chicken. We unfortunately... No! Oh, we bye, Mort. We unfortunately have to say bye to Mort, and uh, it allows us to get through this room much quicker, so... Uh, skip Mort the Chicken? I want a refund on this speedrun I didn't pay for. I, w I wish that was in my contract. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Look how fast you move in Mach 4. It's crazy. Good work. Good work. Good work. That nice. is fun farm. Incredibly fun. Anyway. We're going to align ourselves uh, particularly uh, to the left or to the right over here. And uh, we'll see why in just a sec. But, uh, this is Fast Food Saloon. Um, a lot of uh, wacky themes over here. Got cards and also be beer bottles that launch you and guys with, with Wild West guns. Correct. Really just the whole entire... You got the whole Wild West. The entourage of, of Wild West themes. Also, you got to race these. Uh, you you got to race these horses for uh, the toppings. And uh, and uh, what would Wild West theme level be without a horse? Yeah, there's your yeah. noble steed, a piece of sausage. True. Now, don't laugh at the sausage. Because it murders amazing. everything it runs into. On contact. Very strong. Hey. Oh, crowd. Oh, my oh. Yeah, so we're trying to obviously uh, halt our movement here and just, uh, for some odd reason, if you crouch while those uh, blocks are disappearing, you're still in a crouching state, and you can just kind of get in there uh, willy-nilly. So uh, just jam yourself in there. Nice little sequence break there. Uh, normally, you would uh, have to use uh, the wiener mount to get in there, but, uh, you know, like I said, if we can skip uh, transformations and mounts, uh, we will. Got any more donations? 
Oh, we have so many donations coming in. Starting off with $20 from Bonsai that says, I want a Titan fall from the pizza tower. You can do that in this game. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll give you that one. We also have $50 from Relina Tricolor that says, I watched the Titans fall two run at the first GDQ I saw. Can't believe it's been so long since then. Let's get it back on stage. And with that, oh my goodness, we are $43,000 away from hitting that. We're just getting closer and closer every minute that goes by. Keep those donations coming in, chat. I believe in you guys. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh. That'll oh. happen a lot. <laughs> anyway, I think it's uh, now pizza time. It's pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. time. Anyway, the escape, escape, the escape sequence here is uh, not too terrible. I mean, we have a. Uh, we have wind uh, blowing, and uh, if we're not careful, uh, it's very le easy to lose all our speed here, so just going to be playing it safe here. A mechanic that you're not going to see like any of in the speed run, but you will if you are going for high ranks, is that when you get back to the beginning of the stage after hitting a jump block, there's something you can do called lap two, where on the same timer, mind you, you actually go back to where you hit the John block and have to run through the entire level again, while timed. Yeah. And it lets you get a ton of extra points. It's absurd. So imagine doing this, but again. Nice. Anyway, we got the sequence break up here. Oh, this, yeah. This is yeah. only possible in floor two because for some odd reason, the boss gate is just below Fast Food Saloon. So as long as we hold up, we can just activate Mr. Stick right there and immediately lock the boss door. So, right. so this is the Vigilante. Uh, they kick you, they shoot you, but you also have a gun. You can even do a charge shot, but you actually can't hold the charge shot, so you have to time it. Uh, yeah, you have to be careful with the time shot here. Uh, basically, the entire uh, gimmick of this fight is basically uh, timing your charge shots and just basically stun locking him 24-7, uh, so... Yep. This one attack right here is uh, kind of hard to hit right away, so... Uh, okay, we got it, good. And uh, the rest is pretty much smooth sailing. As long as I land in my charge shots here, he basically can't do anything to us. Got to hit him with a big shot, you know? Yeah. Wait, hold on. I think the that's biggest. a reference to something. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, is that a reference? I need, to, I need to think about this one. During phase two, we pull our best Donkey Kong Country Returns impression here and uh, go full silhouette mode. It's a really fun fight. Also, they have a flamethrower. Yeah. They'll also try to phone in a UFO to drop a cow on you, but uh, we thought going to do their best to not let that happen. Yeah, I haven't talked about the element of RNG. Oh, there's, there's a cow. There's a cow. <laughs> I haven't really talked about the elements of RNG in this fight because we've actually been pretty blessed, but uh, these cardboard cutouts uh, can get in your way, and if they do get in your way, uh, they can mess up a couple shard shots for you, which uh, can uh, throw off a couple cycles. So. Ever played Samurai Kirby? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Vigilante is down. All right, Sloth, I don't know how, and, and Couch, I don't know how I feel about this one. We have $50 from Fog that says, I'm eating pizza with pizza rolls as a topping while watching Pizza Tower in my pizza pajamas. The ultimate pizza experience. Yo, dog, I heard you like pizza, so we put pizza on your pizza while watching pizza. <laughs> I respect the hustle. Welcome to the vacation resort. First level. Crust Cove, yar, matey. Best song? Best song. Yeah, Crust Cove has a, a couple of uh, pretty difficult rooms to deal with, um, especially this one right here. I have to be, I have to make a really tight window with Mach 4. You got see this? If, see if I got this. I do not got it. Oh. Yeah, you have to be really precise with your jumps here, so uh, we'll just go through it with Mach 3. Yeah, this is designed for Mach 3, because Mach 4 is not... It's not involuntary. You actually have to hold the direction you're running to enter Mark 4. Yeah. Anyway, we got the barrel over here. It has a really slippery uh, control. Well, it's, it's really slippery to control. And uh, you basically have to stop fully to really be able to turn around. And uh, that's basically it to it. And, oh. Insert your barrel roll joke here. Also a big fan of how, because you haven't done it yet, the game is still giving you the tutorial for the Super Team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And did you know that if you hold up and press C, you do the super taunt? I'm not sure if you knew that. Wait, really? I didn't know. No way. Crazy. It might, it might be helpful eventually. Maybe. Anyway, we're going to be grabbing another key up here. We need to use that key to get out of the ship right here. Time for a quick dono. Of course. Of course. Well, we have $5 from Anonymous that says, Pizza Topping Donation Train? 
I love eggplant, mushrooms, Kalamata olives, and artichoke hearts. Keep up the great run, supporting a great cause. And indeed, we are doing a pizza topping donation train right now. So even that small $5 donation, it's still helping us unlock Titanfall 2. And with that, we are closing another 2,000 in like, what, two minutes? Chat, this is incredible. We're absolutely going to get there if you keep pushing those donations. Thank you so much, everybody who's donated so far towards that bonus game number five. Some of y'all have some weird pizza tastes. Keep donating, show me. I yeah. wanna see, uh, make me upset with your <laughs> pizza choices. <laughs> I, I wanna broaden my horizons a bit, you know? I'm glad that everybody in the world can all agree on pizza and it's not the most contentious subject ever. It's pizza time. It's pizza time. Pizza time. That's great, keep doing that. Please, please keep doing that. I want it louder next time. Keep that energy. That's a challenge. That is a challenge. That is a challenge. Anyway, coming up from the depths, we're picking up our uh, fourth topping over here. Running back into the ship, uh, taking an alternate path. And uh, normally it's uh, more ideal to just, you know, hold down a uh, shift right here and just uh, roll along. But uh, it's uh, slightly faster just to wait and uh, let the little goblin over here uh, break it, open the path for us. So if you're rolling in the barrel, would that be considered a, a barrel roll? Potentially. Potentially. Maybe. Maybe. You know, I was wondering, like, why did you need a priest to get out of the barrel, though? Like, it, uh, it's, it's a satanic yeah. barrel. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay, 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 got a okay, demon okay. in it. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, okay, he's the one with the hammers and nails you need. Ah, that makes sense. He's the one who ordered onion and anchovy pizza. <laughs> Do the jump. Or not. Ooh, my bad. Anyway, we got Gnome Forest up coming up here, and this 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 stage is special. This stage is special. I'm Ganada Ganoblin, Ganada Ganelf. I'm a gnome, and you've been gnomed. <laughs> Love the screams in this game. Just every you know, just Pizza Tower ASMR. Casually listening to you running through the game. Also Gustavo. Yeah. Hi, Gustavo. Yeah. So this is the first of uh, two Gustavo and Brick levels, and uh, let me tell you, they have a completely different move set. And most new speedrunners are obviously off put by this stage because uh, they obviously aren't controlling Pepino for the first half. So yeah, yeah, th their move set is everything about them is completely different from how Pepino controls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They overall don't nearly, they don't build as much speed as Pepino does, but uh, they have a couple more tools up uh, their sleeve. Uh, we can uh, throw Brick around, uh, and it's uh, a great way to deal with enemies. And uh, yeah. I haven't really uh, talked about like the small optimizations in this run, but every single time we hit an enemy, um, we ha we usually uh, waste six frames. And uh, funnily enough, using uh, the Brick Ball, uh, we actually can get uh, rid of those frames and still deal with them. So uh, it's it's minor optimizations that we care about here. Oh, uh, by the way, a quick shout out to um, Eddie the Kid. He was one of the first people who started to really optimize the Gustavo with this level in particular. So like he was one of the first people who just like started writing down everything. It's it's yeah. I learned so much from Eddie. Eddie is the Goat Stavo in my book. Goat Stavo. The Goat Stavo. The Goat Stavo. Yeah. Eight out of ten. Uh, we have time for a donation? Yeah, certainly. Well, we have some community love here. $100 from Dom that says, Hey, Soaring Sloth, hope you're having fun and make it through the run. Everyone in food court is cheering for you. Also, New York-style pizza is better than Chicago-style pizza. Oh, 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 that fight word. Yeah, oh, those, oh, those, those are fighting words, but uh, I'll, I'll, look, I'll look over this time. I'll look over this time. Just this once. Just yeah. this once. We also have $20 from Kiyoshi Kadre that says, Hey, all, Kiyoshi here to wish Soaring a final well-deserved good luck. I only I recently met you in person as GDQ, and I gotta say, you're a stand-up individual, and I've enjoyed every moment of your company. Also, pineapple is an abomination that does not belong on pizza. Um, boo! 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 Yes, fuel us with your hot takes. Yes. Give in to your hate. Donate money to tell me how wrong I am. Yes! <laughs> Anyway, I haven't really talked about it too much here, but obviously uh, this stage is a bit different with toppings. We actually have to guide these gnome pizzas back to their home, and uh, I believe this is gnome uh, pizza number four. So, uh, and not only do you have to get them because they're lost, they, they also put you on a timer. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. It's pizza time. time. Is that all you got? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, all right. That guy's got it. That guy's got it. Uh, that guy's the goat. Can, you, come on. More energy next time, it'll be great. Y'all are doing great back there. Yeah, this, this, we, we've got an excellent audience today. Just shout out to all of you. 
feels great to have GDQ in front of a crowd again. Right? And it feels great to get even more donations, Red. Go ahead. Well, that's uh, that's great because we have so many coming in, especially for the topping debate. 190 from Unexplored Blue that says, I, for one, love pineapple on my pizza, and I'm donating $10 for every pineapple you can pick up in this game. Ooh, that is ooh, 19 pineapples. That's pine actually yeah. 18 pine, 17, because you skipped two of them. Yeah, that's right. Also, uh, $5 from Queen of Spoons that says, Pineapple on pizza is amazing. Anchovies and olives are unacceptable. Mm. Good work. All right, all right. So I have a serious question for people in the crowd over here. How many people are from the Midwest? Because uh, we're... That's right, that's right. We're heading to Deep Dish 9. Deep Dish 9. So who was that that said that New York style was better than Chicago Deep Dish style? You know, I don't, I don't think I want to acknowledge you. I know where my roots are. Anyways, I can't believe real life Illinois referenced Pizza Tower. Yeah, <laughs> aliens. I can't believe it. Illinois is actually just from a foreign world. Yeah. <laughs> Does Illinois really exist? I don't know. No. <laughs> I, 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 I think there's just one giant crater right next to Lake Michigan. Yeah, that makes sense. You ever meet anyone from Illinois? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think anybody here has proof, right? That's what I thought. True. Anyway, you get the rocket transformation in this level, which is less like a transformation, more like a stage hazard. It makes you go in a straight line. You got to destroy these gigantic balls of cheese, which are the replacement for the rats in this level. And they're really fun to control. It's almost like a Sonic the Hedgehog type power up. One thing I love about Deep Dish 9 is awesome. these level transitions right <laughs> These here. level transitions. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Time for a dono. Go ahead. Yes, of course. Yeah, well, we have a $25 from Aptim Minded that says, so excited to see Pizza Tower at Summer Games Done Quick. It's one of the most innovative platformers in my personal game of the year. I've got a challenge for you. If you let Pizza Face chase you for the entirety of the escape sequence, I'll double my donation. Best of luck on the run, Flaw. Evil. Mm. And with that, we are $40,000 away from hitting Titanfall 2. Let's go, Twitch chat. Keep it up. Keep sending in your debatably bad topping combinations. <laughs> Bring us toppings so that we may tighten. I know, that, I know there's this one person watching who probably has thousands of dollars and likes double anchovies and onions for some reason. I know you exist. It's pizza, pizza time. There we are. There, there we are. go. Oh, yes. yes. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Good work, crowd. You've appeased me. Give yourselves a round of applause. I can't believe you're applauding yourselves, bunch of narcissists. <laughs> Anyway, we got a tight window coming up over here. We're gonna jump over all of this. We landed it, good. Oh, Ooh. nice. Ooh. It's a really tight window. If you mess it up once, uh, you actually have too much speed, so. I love the different names of the combos in this game. You just got the 40, so it's unclean. If you look up in the top right, you'll see the combo names as they pass by. Some of them are very funny. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, the beginning of the level. How convenient. Wow. How convenient, how convenient. <laughs> Time for some more oh, pizza toppings. Oh. Yeah, we have uh, $25 from Gina Mako that says, for a truly controversial pizza take, try this. Pepperoni, sausage, onion, mushroom, black olives, green onion, no pizza sauce with extra cheese. Huh? Who, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who's ordering non-pizza left beef? What is going on? I need to, I need to find this person. Right. Anyway, golf. 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 All right, all right. Golf is very special in the fact that uh, it's actually one of the few stages that we actually do things a bit differently. I already brought up the fact that uh, we actually skip nine toppings in the any percent route, and uh, golf is uh, the big uh, the big offender here. So uh, there is uh, one stage. There's one stage we skip in this uh, entire run, and uh, the level is called Oh Shit. Uh, sorry, for my, <laughs> sorry, sorry for my. Sorry, sorry for my. It's uh, unfortunately the, what the level is called, but uh, yeah, it's the name of the level. <laughs> but uh, the other four toppings, at least for the any percent route, we're actually skipping here. Um, we're only picking up one topping in the Big John room. Or actually, not the Big John room. We picked it up just a second ago. There's one topping in the Big John room we skip, but uh, there's going to be one giant sequence break here called Burger Skip. We basically just align this guy right over here, and we run all the way back to the start. And uh, he, he's, he's going to break the Big John for us. There we go. It's pizza time. It's pizza time. Yeah, that's huge. That saves like 90. 
Yeah. Yeah, it basically makes this stage uh, almost as fast as John Gutter, which is actually crazy. Even though you, you literally only go in here for one topping, because uh, the other four, uh, you have to go into their special golf rooms, and uh, golf is not the fastest game out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like it. It's not Wii Sports Golf, unfortunately. <laughs> I should know how slow golf is. I work at a country club. <laughs> Time for a donation? Yes, obviously. Well, we have a 500 anonymous donation. Ooh, big. They say, okay, okay, hear me out. Mac and cheese pizza. Yes, 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 correct. yes, yes. Correct. Correct. You're the legend that this stream needs, they okay? Cooked. Yes, they, they cooked. cooked. They cooked. They are the chef. And I, we are just the humble restaurant. Right, here we go, it's the eaters. noise, everybody's favorite character. Yeah, so Noise, is, Noise operates a, a bit interestingly. He has four attacks that he's going to use twice each on Phase 1, and then on Phase 2, he's basically just going to become a roulette wheel. But uh, we're going to get these little uh, Noiselings on Phase 2 that we can basically throw at him to advance the fight much quicker. And uh, other than that, though, uh, he's pretty straightforward. A little annoying, uh, a little a little, uh, little obscene with the gestures, too. Yeah, cool music, though. Yeah, this thing, this is just basically a grudge match between these two. They've known each other for years, and they're finally duking it out once again. There we go. Whack. Bonk. Uh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best background I've ever seen. Okay. Yeah, you have to be quick with uh, the cycles where he's uh, vulnerable, so sometimes it's usually better not to really uh, focus on like saving the little Noisling. Uh... Here I can probably work with it. There, there we go. go. Nice. Cool. You can save the little Noisling, uh, kind of like you hold on to Bowser's Mecha Koopas in Super Mario World. Do a little bit of extra damage when the game doesn't uh, necessarily want you to. There we go. Yeah, the, hit, the hitboxes on the Noiselings is uh, a little bit deceiving. Yep. And yeah, turns out if you hit a sick dance move, bombs just don't hurt you. It's clean. That's... Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, that, that was not a bad noise whatsoever. It's a good fight. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh, he uh, takes a leave for us because his girlfriend is not very happy, so... <laughs> I like how he does. You don't even beat him. He just gives up. Yeah, he just gives up, you know. Noise hates Pepino, but he loves his wife. The ideal man. All right, taking the elevator to the fourth floor now. Yeah, our first stop is Pig City. Honestly, it's a fan favorite stage. Uh, probably top three for me. Yeah. I love all the pigs here and... Uh, the Pig City. The Pig City. Just like a couple other stages uh, in this game, uh, all the toppings are conveniently placed in uh, select locations. In this case, it's the taxis. Um, you get the balloon, which uh, will hoist you up a little bit. Okay, a light earlier. This song's the best one. Also, the uh, shout out to the Elvis pig there in the middle of the, <laughs> the room, head banging. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the background sprites have a lot of flavor. Uh, you know, if you, if you look closely, you, you, you'll you'll find something. You'll find something that's like, that'll make you... The biker pigs are called hogs. It's, you got the flying yeah. pigs in the background. Every the, frame in this game is a treat to behold it's for the eyes. so beautiful. Random toilet there in the middle of the shortcut. I never noticed that one. Taxi drivers are pigs with the cigarette. I love this so much. It's so good. You guys are grinding this stage. Like, like the grind rails. Yeah. Anyway, now we're going to get a... Uh... <laughs> I love how nervous Pepino is. <laughs> yeah, Pepino is just an anxiety-ridden mess. And you'll find and out why here in just a second. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, uh, going to be picking up the third topping over here. And uh, unfortunately... Yeah, let's take this fun. Oh, no! It's, oh, no! It's the police! No! Oh, no! no! Oh. We need to break him out, so we're going go to go to Gustavo and Brick to help us. Let's go! Yeah, so Taxis 4 and 5 are going to be dealt with Gustavo and Brick, and, uh... He's <laughs> like... <laughs> I love that splash art so much. Um, Brick, my sweets. 
Wong. Time for a donation? Of course. Of course. Oh, excellent. Well, that being said, folks, we are over halfway through this run. So if you really want to see Titanfall 2, that run would be coming up after this run right now. So keep those donations coming in and make sure you put it to that bonus game incentive. That being said, we have $50 from DC Enigma. And Couch, this this one hurt my feelings a little bit. All right. uh -oh. They say, I only eat my pizza with marshmallows and Cajun seasoning, personally. Huh, what? Whoa. I uh, wait. not sure how to feel about that. I, I, I mixed, I mixed. You I, had me, I was like, you say marshmallows? Yep, and Cajun seasoning, you apparently. You had me with that, I was like, oh, a nice s'more pizza, you know, that could be good. And then you went for Cajun Yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know about that one. Yeah, this seems like a weird combo. Yeah. That's, that's absolutely terrible. Please tell me more. <laughs> anyway, coming up here, this is the first required Super Taunt. Um, we basically can use that to skip a uh, brick getting stolen by a pig for a third time <laughs> in so five. Rather than riding the balloons like Pepino does, Brick just eats them and becomes the balloon. <laughs> yeah. I ate it. I ate it. Yum. There we go. Anyway, the giant is conveniently placed in uh, a room with uh, an old uh, an old pig. Beat the time! Ooh, oh, we got good at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loving the energy. Anyway, now we gotta go save. Uh, you know, we hit the John. Now we gotta go save Pepina from the uh, the cop pigs, uh, as opposed to the shrimp. I, are those shrimp lobsters? Those I, I think they are. I think they yeah, are. They're like yeah. kung fu shrimp. Oh. Uh, as opposed to <laughs> okay, now shrimp. Sense. Okay, yeah. there we go. <laughs> That's great. All right, we have we have a problem here, folks, because we have fifty dollars from Kelpmonger that says, "Hot take: Pizza is overrated. It's just convenient. Fight me." Boo! You might, you might be wrong. You might be wrong. How could you say that while we're running Pizza Tower? Look at me, look at me. I, 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 I'm Pepino. You can't say that in yeah. front of me. We're, yeah. literally, we're literally getting pizza after this, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we're heading into Freezerator. Uh, this stage is definitely more interesting because uh, there is a lot of moving parts here. Uh, let me tell you. POV, you live in Alaska. Yeah, we were just in a desert like a couple of levels ago. Now we're in the, the Arctic. It's actually a refrigerator. Yeah, the, the, I think they're like supposed to be like pocket dimensions. Look how cool this movement is. I mean, yeah, look focus on that. Focus on the movement. Yeah, focus on the you just, movement. Look at Pepino Let go fast. Cook. Let me cook. It, it, it lasts for just a split second, but so much just went into that tiny little thing that they just did. It's so cool. This game just looks amazing when it's played at a high level. It's so fun to watch. Donation? Feel free. Oh, heck yeah. Well, we have more community love coming in here, starting with $25 from, I, I apologize apologize if I mispronounce your screen name, Kuker? Kuker. Kuker. Kuker, thank you. It says, hello from the crowd. Super proud to be here supporting such a great cause. Much love to Soar and the couch. Good luck and make it the pizza. I make it the pizza. I make it the pizza. I cook the pasta. Make it the pizza. I do that on the fast. The pasta. We, we also have $75 from Shovel Claws that says, on my way to the venue with a pizza. Hope you're ready to meet up. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Also, another community, $20 from Bread that says, hey, Sloth, Bread here. Glad to see this run live. And even more glad that you made it into GDQ. Anyway, evil Santa Claus shows yeah. up. What's, Hi, Santa. What's Remember? Santa doing here? Y'all thought I was just making a joke about Santa Claus deniers earlier. No, 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 no. He's we real. He's real. real. We have to prove he's trying to kill you. <laughs> Santa, Santa Claus deniers when I show them RRF. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's starting to get a little hot in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I almost, uh... Out of bounds there. Got the sign in the background that says too much mayo. There's a pickle jar, you know. Every frame of this game just has so much love put into it. It's so wonderful. That's what happens when you work on a game for six years and it's like two people. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. the entire game's animated by one person, the Goat McPig. Yeah. Satan's choice. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, so, uh... Red. With Satan's choice over here, we get, we get, we gain the ability to fly. Um, very, As one does. Very, very convenient. <laughs> You this know. is what happens when you drink the McDonald's Sprite. Yeah. Can confirm. This has happened to me before. <laughs> if you drink a McDonald's Sprite, I, I can assure you, you will gain these powers. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah you, you literally just gain the, the power to fly. It's amazing. 
Anyway, it's, it's pizza, pizza time! Pizza time! So what makes this level pretty unique among all of them while going for uh, P ranks is that you actually only have the pepper on the first lap if you do the second, if you do the lap two. So you need to make sure you give yourself room on the on the run back to actually uh, to just run through the level normally without it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, keeps you on your toes. I don't think Pepino has toes. Uh, okay. They are. You know, I'm looking at the plush yeah. right now. They're just nah, blobs. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Pepino does not canonically have toes. Okay, they keep you on your knobs then, I guess. Wow. Time for a quick update. Yes, yes. Well, for that bonus game number five, Titanfall 2, which is going to be coming up immediately after this, we are just about $33,000 away. And folks, we only have about 30 minutes left, so keep those donations coming. We're so close to a chat. If you can hit it in 30 minutes, it's free. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 minutes yeah, or less. Three, yeah. Come on, guys, you got this. And we're going to buy the next... Uh, and buy the next gate. I wonder who this guy is. I wonder who this guy is. Yeah, wait, it's, never, uh, let's, 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 let's check it out right here. Pepino? Huh, that's, oh, yeah, that's yeah. odd. That's odd. Who's this guy? Never, never seen him before. It's, he, he looks a little bit taller than us. He's a... I, 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 don't, I don't think this is the guy we're thinking about here. Some sort of imposter. Yeah. Anyway, this is the fight against... Uh, Fake Pepino. Big fan of uh, Pepino's Pizza 2 in the background there. The sequel. Nothing compares. Nothing compares. Anyway, unlike uh, every other fight in this game, uh, with the. Uh, you need to hit him twice in order to be able to take a hit off of him. So uh, we have to really be careful with uh, where we hit him. He's also really fast. Yeah. I mean, he clearly is Pepino, so. It'll summon an armada of uh, imposter Pepinos here to rain a deluge on you, but you can just parry them all. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. 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 Did you know you can press C to parry? Yeah, did you know? Wait, really? That's crazy. Anyway, now he's gonna take his head off. Turns out. He's actually the brain from that one episode of SpongeBob, the Halloween special. Oh, no. Of course, of course. No. Shaved SpongeBob. The shaved SpongeBob brain. They That's shaved, they shaved Pepino. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, we're heading into phase two now, and phase two is a lot quicker than phase one because we don't have to deal with uh, these 10 second intermissions that uh, Fake Pepino is giving us. This is yep. going to be uh, one and done, back and forth, so uh, slap them around a bunch. Worth noting, though, the, this fight actually does have a secret phase three that we'll see uh, once phase two is dispatched. Also, as you notice in phase two, the signs in the back get all messed up. Now we got a Pepino, 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 and FRT, JPS, exclamation point! Correct. Ooh. Okay, now we got it, we got it. If you translate that through a binary translator, it actually says, uh, donate to GDQ. That's true. Wow. Now we got to run from Fake Pepino because uh, he's really not happy with us and he actually tripled in size. So uh, yep. we get a, uh, a chase man. sequence here. Big Which, chest. I, I doesn't quite feel like it was designed for Mach 4 because you can beat this guy by a, a country mile. Yeah, this, this used to be like infamously difficult, but they made a patch to make it easier. So we just... Anyway, have we uh, reached a verdict with uh, Snotty's fate? What happens to him? Yeah, why don't we go ahead and check that out uh, and see. Uh, give me one second. Why don't you check back in like maybe a minute, if that's okay? okay. You know, you know we, 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 can, we, can, we, can, we can we can give him another stage. We'll go to Petbot real quick. Okay. All right, I found it. Uh, so we have with <laughs> Kill Snotty, at $1,748, but Save Snotty is indeed at $2,765.95, so we are gonna be saving Snotty. Woo! Snotty lives to see another day. Snotty approved. Snotty approved. Anyway, Peppa Bot is uh, definitely a more infamous stage. It's got a lot of vertical elements and a lot of uh, annoying uh, stage mechanics. Uh, we got a lot of conveyor belts. Uh, we got these robots, and uh, 
We have, we have the pizza box transformation, which uh, isn't too bad, but yeah. If you want a comparison for difficulty, vertical is pain. Yeah. yeah. The more vertical a stage is, the, the long, it's, it's, if it's more vertical, it's more difficult. So yes, yep. pretty much that. There we go. We've got to rescue our cheese. We can't make a pizza without the cheese, despite what some of these donators might think. Anyway, we've got to dodge these hands right here. They're mostly obstacles, but uh, we do need it there to break the steel block. You will not be catching these hands. Not be catching these hands. All right, speaking of dodge, we have $100 from dodge that says blueberries on pizza. You gotta trust me. That's... I, uh, I, I'd, be, I'd be willing to try. That's, I'd be willing to try. Yeah, that's, that's just a pie. A, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After some of the things I've heard, that's not the yeah, worst yeah, thing. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, no. unoffensive. But yeah. That's just a Danish with extra steps. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I mean, we're getting a lot of love for mashed, pota mashed potatoes on pizza. Yeah, the pizza box transformation uh, also lets you fly, but it makes you really flat. Yeah, uh, the more you, uh, the more flaps you uh, fly with, uh, the less height you gain, and you, you basically have to ground yourself again or hit an enemy to basically refresh yourself. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of like uh, Smash sixty four jiggly pop. Yeah, that's that's actually a pretty way to describe good way to describe it. So, we got a pretty annoying section coming up once we get rid of Pizza Man. We are now. Let's see if we, let's see if we can get this first try. Ooh. Oh. So Keeping yeah. your speed through that, I mean, obviously, you can do it this way, but keeping your speed through that is like... It's really hard. It's yeah. really hard to get the first time around. Yeah, yeah, I watched you do that in the practice room this morning. That was crazy. <laughs> anyway, one more pizza box transformation. Yeah, this pizza box moves pretty fast. Anyway, we can't exit the stage as a pizza box, so we have to become Bavino. But wait, we can't go back. Now we have to go through this whole segment. Yeah, Thank we're Where's the door? Thankfully, there's a box right here that will oh. bring the door directly to us. Oh, there it is. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> okay. Save the snot. Of course. Thankfully, don't, don't kill snotty. Thankfully, snotty Let will be uh, traveling uh, with us to the end. So, <laughs> shout out to snotty over here. Uh, don't, don't hurt him. He'll, he'll be staying over here. Got to know we're doing the past snotty snotty today. Anyway, now we're coming into probably my favorite stage in the game for the speed run, uh, Pizza Scare. It's a... Uh, the fifth floor only has three levels, and one of them is, uh, rather than Pizza Scape before, now it's Pizza Scare. Yeah, yeah. It's a remix of Pizza Scape, and it's, I think it was originally the Halloween level in a uh, beta build, but, uh, yeah. Well, less RuneScape, more Castlevania now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the beta builds of this game go hard. They, they are also much harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? They, they took that literally. Anyway, the whole gimmick with Pizza Scare is that there's this, there's this king ghost that's going to interact with a lot of uh, stage elements, and uh, we basically just want to avoid them. And uh, as long as we're at Mach 4, we actually can uh, get past him faster than he can attack us. So, uh, like as you can see right here, he really just can't reach us. And it's going to be really important for uh, like an upcoming sequence break. So. Ooh, go. Oh, no, the ghosts are back. Ooh, good move. Ready for a quick update? Of course. Yeah. Well, we have a $25 donation from Maybe Your Pie that says the real pizzas are the incentives we made along the way. Going to Titanfall. Also, any love for St. Louis style pizza? Yes. 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 I've actually never tried that. Correct. Before. And with that, we are less than $29,000 away from being able to close out that Titanfall 2 run. Let's go, Twitch chat. Damn Let's it. go. Cook. Come on, Cook. guys. Cook harder. We're so, we're so close. We need to cook. It is time. It is yes, time. Need to cook. Chat, we need to cook. We need to cook. So this, you're going to kill him now. All right, so uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. So what we just saw there was uh, dubbed by the community, the Sneaky Fart. Uh, yeah, that's a great name. Uh, you know, it is a great name. Uh, yeah, there's a little section we're supposed to do underneath Pil Pillar John, but we don't because we just hit Mach 4 and just run straight into him before we can get bounced back. It is the stinky, stinky, stinky fart, fart stinky my fart. beloved. Yeah, stinky the, fart. The actual name of the skip. Incredibly smelly. Speedrunners speed have two na names of, uh, two ways of naming skips. Either it's like, it, the actual name of the skip, like John Block skip, or it's like 
Taco Tuesday skip because somebody found it on a Tuesday while eating tacos. I love lesbian skip. No. Yeah, that one's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's the essential yeah. Delta and speedrunning strat. True. <laughs> Incredibly essential. Great work. All right. So this next level here, a uh, pretty interesting one. Uh, we're actually going to be attacked by evil pizza animatronics, uh, but these ones don't take 20 minutes to explain the lore. Instead, they're just evil. Yeah. Yeah, this one's another fan favorite. Uh, I, I enjoyed this one casually. Um, the big, the big gimmick with this stage is that uh, it, you have normally you would play this uh, like kind of like a stealth level, but uh, since we're Pepito and we're absurdly fast, uh, we don't care about all the the stealth triggers. We can basically just outrun uh, all the animatronics. And, if you uh, outrun everything, nobody ever catches you, so it yeah. is stealthy. Yeah, yeah. Te technically, technically, yeah. we are playing by the book. You can't get jump scared if they don't touch you. Yeah, so when these little guys spot you here, they actually have a countdown before they summon an animatronic to chase you. But uh, we actually have to use that to our advantage. And in this level, we'll also meet my favorite character in the game, but you'll see them in a little bit. Uh. Donations? Absolutely. Well, in the past, like, a minute, we've closed nearly $2,000 towards Titanfall 2. Keep it up, chat. We can get there! I believe. Keep it up. I believe. I believe. And we have a returning community donation from Shovel Claws with $75 that says, I eat it at Hello from the Crowd, 40 minutes late. Let's get that Titanfall 2! <laughs> yeah! I eat it, the pizza. I eat it. It was yummy. All right, we're going to be coming up to a great character reveal here for Pier pretty soon. Just got to do a quick little series of jumps off these guys here. This level is really well constructed. You the dash panels, like, like did Dimps design this level? This is great. And we're going to stop right here, activate the little guy up there to activate the animatronic. Run yeah, uh, Taunting will activate them as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Use that to your advantage like that to not have to wait. Also, these guys will, will kill you in one hit, but... No yeah, difference. yeah. Anyway, uh... How'd you guys like to meet my personal favorite Pizza Tower character? You guys excited? I'm ready. Yeah, this is the best character in the game, bar none. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, gun. 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 Pizza time. So obviously, now that we have uh, equipped ourselves with a firearm, uh, these animatronics are not really an issue anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm about yeah. to show these guys the yeah. bullet of 87. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, this is great. Those animatronics that killed you instantly in one hit, I don't think they stand up to a sawed-off. <laughs> yeah. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately. Also, you can fast fall with a gun, which will come up uh, a lot in the next level. Hey, Sloth, would you like a quick pun? Sure. All right, fifty dollars from Redred Thirteen that says, "Keep it up, Sloth. You're in the Cal Zone." I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Wait, we've been so focused on pizza toppings. What about what do you get in your Cal Zones? You need to donate to tell us. So, give us money and let us know. Or is a Cal Zone a pizza at all? Well, I, I mean, didn't let us know. Besides pizza, we have ten dollars from Death by Koopa that says, "Pineapple on pizza." <laughs> That's old news. All right. How does everybody feel about pineapple on lasagna? Uh, what? Excuse all me. All right, we're coming up to the all best right, level right, name right. in the game here. Yes. <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> anyway, gun, gun, gun. It's we started an escape sequence immediately, and it's nothing but just a uh, running and gunning. Yep. Great. Uh, you know, every game with a timer mechanic, you got to have the whole level on the timer. This this is the pizza tower level, in my opinion. This is the one. The epitome this is, of the pizza it tower. It all comes together. You got the best character in the game, Gun, for the whole level. It's just a blast. The music is just so good. So yeah, the theming on this stage is literally 10 out of 10. Uh, a lot of people like pick this stage as their favorite, and honestly, I can see why. Yeah. Wait, this isn't Waters in Nazareth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a great remix of that. <laughs> It's crazy how you get to the final world and they decide to put all the best levels there immediately. Yep. Back to back to back. Back to back to back. We haven't talked about it at all. There are bonus levels in this game. Uh, every single stage has three of them. Need them for the P ranks. We've obviously been avoiding them because they waste time. Yeah, yeah. Every single stage has three secrets, but, uh, you know, we don't really need secrets in 80%, so. Yeah. Taunt there to uh, 
have to uh, bait that enemy so they'll blow up the rat for us because the rats are somehow immune to the gun. I, what are those rats made out of? A uh, rat. Nintendium. True. Yeah. Yeah, one thing I actually haven't touched upon is the fact that the shotgun actually does change our moveset a little bit. Like, uh, obviously, uh, I've already talked about grab cancels and stuff, but uh, we actually can't do that with the, the shotgun at all. The only real form of uh, speed we can actually retain is uh, just shooting midair. So uh, we really have to be careful. We, ha we have to be mindful about uh, how we approach this level uh, as well as don't make a sound. So you need to grab these, uh, these little monitors here. We'll extend the amount of time you can stay in the level. And uh, if you're going for the P-Rank, you'll need to clear out most of the level on the first time because you won't have the, uh, you uh, you won't have any of them on the way back. Yeah. So you need to give yourself a fast round. You look in the background here, you can see like, lore? Pizza tower? Fake pizza Pino? tower lore. What? P pizza lore? <laughs> this game has surprisingly just like randomly deep lore, if you look into it, that does not matter at all for the Yeah, this is a game. cloning facility for the fake Pepinos. I yeah. think. More so deep, you'd think it was a Kirby game. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you did have the Vigilante. It gave you the gun that's basically Meta Knight. Yeah, yeah, that's my, Yeah, that's true. Oh. There we go. Anyway, wrapping up uh, War Over Here, we got the final topping on the right. Last topping. And it's a pineapple. Last Woo! topping of the run. And last RSS. Thank God. Yeah, all we have left is the final fight against Pizza yeah. Face himself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, oh. P Pizza Face is uh, notorious, at least for his phase one, uh, mostly because uh, it is essentially one giant mess. Uh, he's just basically gonna, you know, shoot out enemies at us, and as we progress through the fa first phase, um, he's gonna see I'm busy spoiling myself. <laughs> As we progress through the first phase, um, he's basically going to shoot out more enemies at us, and uh, we basically want to focus on uh, doing a lot of pile drivers into him, it's just so we can uh, skip, uh, obviously, throwing uh, enemies up at him and then uh, dealing with him on the ground. Yeah, the pile driver will give you the boost up that you need to hit him. The pile driver! Time for a donation? Yes, of course. Well, we have $5 from I Am The Todd that says cucumbers on pizza. Not cooked with the pizza, sliced thin, and then placed on after it's cooked. Cold and crunchy and warm and gooey. Been doing it for 20 years, never had someone not like it. Let's go, Titanfall 2. And with that, we are over $100,000 raised towards that bonus game, number five. Right, keep it coming. But that being said, folks, we're almost done with this run. We're so close, but we have very little time left. So if you want to make Titanfall 2 happen, now is the time. Send in a donation, yeah. $5. 10 minutes left. Make that push. $20, any amount helps. Just send it towards Titanfall 2. It's time now. Do you believe in Twitch chat audience? Let's I think, go! I, think I, I believe it. in you guys. I, mean, I think you can do it. We've heard this much. I think you're too scared to do it. Right. We, we get the return of the vigilante gun, not the gun gun. Uh, and we have to weaponize it against the true final boss of Pizza Tower, a Twitter user. A <laughs> clown. A clown. No, yeah, phase two is really not that stressful for us. Uh, he's going to throw, like, uh, several projectiles at us, but uh, all we have to really have to do is just spam X and just uh, make sure we don't really get hit by anything. Yes, it has crazy psychedelic music. I love it. It really is just a big clown. And he throws <laughs> the combo <laughs> box at you. <laughs> so that's the end of phase two. And obviously at this point, uh, he doesn't want to go down right now. So he's going to do the one thing that is probably the biggest trip in all video games. And it, there's going to be one massive boss rush for us against yeah. everything we find. Yeah, it's it's going to be... looks it's, a little upset. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be painful. It's going to be rough. He's getting real angry. Yeah. It's for them. <gasps> yeah, Pepino is fed up, so uh He is the Pepino is the final boss here. Yeah. I mean yeah. I, I I'd be this mad too if I had to fight Pepperman again. Rip it and tear, chef. Well, Pepperman, do you want to compare the speed of our attack rushes? <laughs> Uh, so now all these bosses will only take four hits because we power ourselves up to do big martial arts combos. And uh, Gustavo even shows up for the assist. Yeah, Gustavo's here to help us out. Thank you, Goat Gustavo. This is so, like, over the yeah. top. I love the dramatic Standing range. here. <laughs> Why won't you die? 
Nano Machine, Machine Son. Son. This music is so good. They went off. Best soundtrack 2023. Anyway, we can hit noise really early here, just like. Muda, muda, muda. Didn't even. They barely even had a chance. We will not let him breathe. Yay! Uh. Gustavo! Yay! Yay! Alright. Lastly, fake Pepino. Fake Pepino. I love Gustavo's just yeah. hyping you up. He's, the he's hype man. Hype pose. He's in your hype pose. He's Gustavo hype is the hype man. POV, you are Gustavo. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, now we're good. We're good. We're good. It's very easy to accidentally hit Gustavo here. What? And lastly, through this boss rush, we also have uh, Pizza Man himself. Uh, we have to position ourselves uh, pretty carefully here. Uh, he only has a very—he has a very small window to actually hit him, and uh, one of his attacks right, coming up right here. Uh, we really want to maximize. Uh, so it takes six hits total, and uh, every single time he'll add something new. He started off with a little boxing gloves, then he used a fly swatter. Now he's going to do the stomp, which you have to not be on the ground, or else you get hit by that. And then finally, he'll do boxing gloves. He'll start and flies water. Yeah, he'll start doing combos once we get into the oh. second half of this. Can anybody guess what he's going to do next? Could it be? Stomp into boxing gloves? He's... Ooh. What could be next? Is this a true Surely he will all three. No, oh, it's true. Sure it surely, it surely. surely. Into flies water. Into, into stomp. stomp. No way. And that's <laughs> the thing. That is the pizza face fight. Oh. I, oh. Why won't you die? Nano machine, son. That's the power of pizza. It's time for the pile driver. The pile driver of all time. Uh, can I butt in really quick with a major donation? Go of ahead. Course. We have ten thousand dollars from Fan Gamer. Hey everybody, Fan Gamer here. Normally we'd want to tell you about our SGDQ 2023 official merch collection at fangamer.com/gdq, where 100 percent of the profit gets turned into donations like this one that support MSF's humanitarian mission. But we have something else in mind right now: corn and mayonnaise. Trust what? us. What? What? No. what? no, 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 no. Keep no, no, those no, no, no. donations coming. Tell we us what you left. think about our choice, and let's make that bonus game happen. And we are less than $10,000 away from Titanfall 2. Let's go! Make it happen. Come on, yeah. 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 Make it you happen. guys. Can Push Gang. You have to go from the sickest movement in a 2D game to the sickest movement in a 3D game. Come on, baby. It's too good. Anyway, now we need to escape the entire pizza tower. So, if you play this game casually while you're running around the areas, of the hub world, you might notice there's like John blocks, and you're like, oh, I wonder what those are for. Turns out the whole entire the entire thing is actually a level, and you have to play through it at the very end. Yeah, it's basically one giant remix stage where you're just uh, basically coming across every single level mechanic in the game. There's the shrimp again, or the yeah, yeah, yeah. There's shrimp. We agreed on that. Yeah, right? we agreed on that. We yeah. agreed on that. I have a bad habit of just like screaming along to this song when I'm playing, when I'm speedrunning. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a good track. Most people consider it their favorite. Sometimes all, you just get in the zone. And all the characters will escape with you right now. We got Gustavo. Uh, we got the guy we buy the levels from. Uh, fake Pepinos back there. Snotty, of course. Who yeah. we Snotty! 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 Who you all donated to let live. A bunch of cowards. <laughs> Ooh, missed it. Ooh. Gotta take the the olive instead. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to go by olive. Boing, boing, boing. Wow, mushrooms that make you bounce. Hello, noise. And now noise is with us. Yeah, we're basically just saving everybody in this tower. Uh, you know, there's also the water there that pushes Almost you, everybody. which is from the level we didn't play with the name that I'm not going to repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a quick donation? Of okay. course. Well, we are approaching just being less than, yeah, we're less than $9,000 away. Let's go. Come on. Got and we up. have $10 from Real Loop that says, Dear Book Pineapple and Anchovies, the joyers. 9K in like three minutes. You guys can do this. Oh, let's go. We must unite against the one true enemy, Banana on Pizza. What? Also, you know what goes good with pizza? Titanfall 2. Yes. 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 Sir. Come on. Bring it together, guys. 
So is this the part where you intentionally lose time so we have more time for donations? Or? Potentially! <laughs> potentially! <laughs> I'm just saying, this, Four. this really Four. has been the pizza tower. This is the greatest pizza that has ever towered. I really like the part where he said it's pizza tower in time and then pizza towered all over those guys. All right. Well, we're almost done, so. Yeah, we're, we're hitting the final leg of the crumbling tower of pizza, so time is coming up. Um, it's just one long horizontal hallway with nothing but boost pads. Yeah. Yep. If you want to, if you want, if you're waiting till the very end, this is it. Here we go. 7,400 away. Nope. Sorry, 6,000 away. Uh huh? Nine. Oh my. Come on. Come on. Uh, then keep pushing. Stall just a and here we come up, coming up on time here, final door. Yep. And time. time. That is Pizza Tower any percent at a glance. Good job, man. And I think that was uh, might have been sub 75. I could be wrong. 114.23. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. We did great. We did great today. You could say you were cooking. I I was indeed cooking. Good I job, chef. Cooking. No, John. John no. is killed. <laughs> Unfortunately, you cannot save John. He was too young. This is so sad. Well, you can save John. You just don't because you're a coward. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, any percent were cowards. So you know. Yeah, you save him in true ending, the goat category. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, um, I, I I like to leave a couple shout outs. Obviously, I mean, shout outs to the three people behind me today. You know, I I, I couldn't have done this with uh, the many people I know in my many speedrunning circles. And uh, shout outs to the Delta Ring crew back there. Shout outs to Food Court, the Jade Whiffs Nation, and uh, my family back home. You know, I really didn't think I'd ever get back up here. Or, or I don't think I'd ever get up here, really. Uh, definitely been a dream of mine. So uh, I'd like to thank uh, Games Done Quick for such an amazing opportunity. So I'd like to thank the Academy. You know, I, I'd really like to. <laughs> yeah, I really just like the, you know, you know. I'd like to thank these credits and all the people who helped make this game possible. You, we, we wouldn't be here without you. Yeah, like Army, the Mutant Snake, and uh, shout out Games. Yeah, shout out to Awesome Trash Can. You're a legend. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of interesting names, but uh, I think with that, um, I think we're about to ready to call it. Uh, All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for your time, and uh, I hope you look forward to potentially Titanfall 2. We should get, we should get there. Come on, you guys. Four thousand left. Four thousand more. Up. Uh, less what? than four thousand. And that being said. The audience, give it up one more time for Soaring Sloth with Pizza Tower. And we're not done yet, folks, because we are less than $4,000 away from Titanfall 2. Can they get their audience? Woo! All right, and kicking us off, we have $100 from Negan that says, been a fan of GDQ for years. I'm so happy to contribute some money towards MSF as well as be helping getting that Titan drop. And indeed, thank you so much. Every single donation helps. Make sure if you send in a donation right now to unlock Titanfall 2, that you make sure to choose that Titanfall 2 as the incentive. We are so close. We can get there, Twitch chat. Let's go. Woo! Yeah. That being said, we have some amazing sponsors here that we are going to be talking about in a moment. And yes, we're less than 3,000. Let's go. We're so close. All right, but we do have even more donations coming in. They really want that Titanfall 2 run to happen. We have $15 from Naps that says, let's see that Titanfall 2 run. All right, and we are so fortunate here at Summer Games Done Quick to be sponsored by none other than Intel. Intel Gaming really brings the best out of your system with Intel Gaming bring, bringing beyond performance. More threads, more cores, and the latest hybrid performance architecture. Push beyond performance with the 13th gen Intel core processors. Learn more at intel.com slash gaming. Once again, that is intel.com slash gaming and Intel. From all of us here at Summer Games Done Quick, raising money for Doctors Without Borders, thank you so much for sponsoring our event. Thank you, Intel. 
great. We are also very fortunate here to be sponsored by none other than Len Lenovo. Lenovo Legion, one of the world's leading gaming PC brands, crafts high quality laptops, towers, and accessories defined by both their undeniable style and unstoppable savagery. We celebrate today's gamers, whether they're gaming on the go or competing at the highest levels, and take pride in equipping them to dazzle our friends while devastating their foes. For more information, please visit www.lenovo.com slash US slash Ian slash Legion. And oh my goodness, look at this chat. We are less than 300 from Titanfall 2. Oh my goodness, just over 200, less than 200 dollars. Let's go. Let's go, Twitch chat. Come on, just 140 more dollars. Less than 100. We have unlocked Titanfall 2. Yes, let's go, Twitch chat. Oh my goodness, we are in for such a treat. Not only is Brian Otto coming back on the stage, the GOAT commentator himself, but one of the GOATest games of all time, Titanfall 2, run by the GOAT of GOATs. It's going to be none other than Bladed, folks. I am so excited to see him show his stuff. Are you excited, audience? Excellent. And that being said, while our runner is getting set up, we are going to be taking a quick... Twitch ad break. Thank you so much, Twitch. Uh, as we are here at Summer Games Done Quick live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, powered by Twitch. So we will be back in a few minutes. Get up, stretch your legs, get some water, take care of yourself, folks, and we will see you in a few.
Hello, everybody out there. My screen name's Covert Muffin, and we are back here live from Minneapolis, Minnesota at Summer Games Done Quick 2023, and we have unlocked Titanfall 2 with $125,000 raised going directly to MSF, and we are gonna see that. Are you excited out there, audience? Yeah. Yes! I mean, I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very excited, too. This is gonna be epic. And speaking of which, we have $500 from Gordon Fearman that says, Pilot, my analysis indicates a donation is our only option. <laughs> well, indeed, Gordon Fearman, thank you so much for that generous donation. And that being said, if you donate here at Summer Games Done Quick, you are in uh, the chance to be able to walk away with some excellent prizes. And here to tell us more about that is going to be Game & Shout as well as the prize team. Take it away, my friend.